I want you to think about the children you know. Think about your cousin, your friend, your sister's kids, or your own. Four out of five of those children are worried about their body image. Let that sink in. Now tell me, how many times have you as an adult scrolled through your phone and compared yourself to someone else? With poor mental health rising, there is increased exposure to toxic messages in media regarding body image. Science tells us humans self-criticize when comparing themselves to someone they consider better and young people are no exception. Now think about what that would be like for as a young person who's still growing, feeling uncomfortable in your own skin, seeing edited images of people online and comparing yourself to every single one. You possibly remember from your own experiences the confusion young people feel at this age about their developing body. Teenagers have the lowest self-esteem among any other demographic. At such a vulnerable time, social media amplifies low self-esteem and negative self-talk. When you look in the mirror, clothing can make or break your self-esteem. But there is one clothing item for girls that either undermines or inspires confidence more than any other, the bra. This is why my startup, Confident Apparel, needs to exist in the market today. We will provide supportive, comfortable underwear products that are size inclusive, with replaceable cups to grow with the wearer, and body positive affirmations on waist and chest bands to increase confidence in the mirror. Confident Apparel is more than an item of clothing. It is wearable advocacy. The close relationship with underwear is so practical but intimate, and that relationship we have can either help or hinder the person wearing them. Repetitive messaging plays into what is known in psychology as the mere exposure effect, explaining that the more we are exposed to a message or idea, we prefer incorporating it into our lifestyle for familiarity. You see it in advertising every day, and young people are constantly exposed to messages online reinforcing the idea they are not good enough. We use the same tools to positively influence teenage mental health with affirmations on every product. Meet Lara, who at 13 years old developed bulimia because of cyberbullying of her body image. She has been battling the disorder and now at 19, it is still an issue. She shared that confidence products can help her feel better about herself. And Lara is not alone. An estimated 100,000 Australian girls were hospitalised from eating disorders in 2015. I was one of them. It is, it is shocking to think these are the girls who were hospitalised, let alone the girls diagnosed, the girls suffering, and the girls who look in the bedroom mirror with negative self-talk. Our market research to date has shown that 88% of parents and young people need this now, and growing market demand means it cannot wait. Now meet Sarah. She's the parent of a 15 year old girl and has been struggling for years to help find comfortable products for her daughter, who needs more support due to her large breast size. There are dozens of Facebook groups for concerned parents with similar problems, with over 30,000 Australian members between groups. A quick shout out to everyone who wears a bra, you know how hard it is to find something that fits well, is supportive, and then it's a bonus if it's comfortable, right? Now think about the parents trying to find a product like this for the growing children. Sarah says it's near impossible. I know Confident can help her daughter through form-fitting designs that sit well on the skin. Today, young people are provided with ill-fitting crop tops and bras that lack size inclusivity and style or are too over-sexualized for their age. The two biggest brands are almost entirely adult-centric. These products are just not good enough. This was further reflected in customer interviews where the current state of underwear available for young people suggests a market gap exists for underwear that is comfortable and well-fitting, but most importantly, supportive of rapid growth. This is why Confident Apparel will address this market gap for youth and compete on four aspects, size inclusivity, style variety, comfort and affordability to accommodate growing bodies and changing needs. With over 50 responses online to my idea from parents and young people in just two days, it is clear this is a problem needing to be solved. I want to fix the lack of size variety and comfort in underwear products and I want every single young person to feel good, to feel confident and to feel loved in their own bodies. That's what Confident is all about. And I know from my own experiences that I needed that, that Sarah and Lara need that. And from the outcries of both parents and young and children in market research, I know they need it too. 
We want to provide more than wearable advocacy. We want to provide education, support and empowerment for young people. Our mission will hopefully make a small but impactful contribution to the confidence of young teens. This allows for the potential de development of partnerships with key stakeholders such as KidSafe, the Butterfly Foundation and local schools to really make a difference for our young people. They say it takes a village to raise a child. It will take many more people to help support our youth. So if anyone wants to be part of the confident movement and are happy to open your networks to us, please reach out. I would love to hear from you. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Charlotte, for sharing a personal story as well Thank you. and putting together yeah, some research that you did on your own social media. I'm, I'm happy to jump in first again, unless anybody else wants to. But um, first off, Charlotte, just thank you so much for sharing that story. It's incredibly, um, it's a powerful story and, and just wanted to call out. It's not, not, not easy to get up and in, in front of everyone and kind of share, share those, um, that journey. Um, so I, I guess the question for me is kind of, uh, so I, I love this idea. I love it based in research, um, the mere exposure effect. I have learned something new today. Um, what, what would you, what, what is next? I guess, what, what is, what would be your next step with this business, the next action? Yeah, so um, currently we're starting to build our social media press, sorry, presence, um, and we're hoping to generate leads um, and just start building our social media presence over the next coming few months. Um, and we're also starting product design. Um, so we're hoping to have product prototypes by February, and then this will lead to our online launch in June 2022. Um, and hopefully pre-orders will, um, will be already generating revenue uh, at this time. And yeah, from there, we will continuously improve our products and um, customer experience through customer feedback. Um, yeah, and go from there. Yeah, I um, obviously, I also see the incredible value in something like this, um, particularly for young people. Um, I was just curious about um, the thought you'd given to the like the, the materials you'd be using in in this. Um, you know, ha, has there been like have you looked at sort of you know what kind of materials you're going to be using to to actually construct the the clothing? I'm just thinking about things like environmental impact and supply chain and that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, as an environmental science student myself, um, sustainability is at the forefront of my mind always. Um, but at the moment, based on customer interviews um, and my knowledge of fabrics, as well as interviewing with um, experts, uh, probably cotton and bamboo blends is the way to go, um, simply because they're the most comfortable, um, softest fabrics available. And they'll also provide the elasticity for um, better support and comfort for young people as well as they grow. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. No worries.